What's up guys? I know it's been a while since we made a video, uh, but I got a few uh, exciting things uh, in my life, you know, aside from the personal stuff that's going on. Uh, an Amazon seller reached out to me a few months back um, during all the crisis stuff, and I've had, you know, uh, a lot's happened since then, and I've had a lot of downtime in my in my home to uh, to do this. But they reached out to me and said, "Hey, you know, would you be interested in uh, trying out a 3D printer, right? And and just trying to show the ease of use, how easy it is to set up, and uh, just talk about your experience with it." So I said, "Hey, yeah." Uh, I'm down with it. I actually got two and this is one of two. I'm, I'm going to make another video on the other 3D printer. Um, but the the one in question, the one that's behind me right here, this is an Ender 3 Pro uh, that was sent to me. So let's talk about it. So first off, I will go ahead and say that I have already done some upgrades. I immediately seen um, where things could be better about this printer and uh, <laughs> learned very quickly from from forums uh, learned uh, from a lot of my mistakes actually um, I've messed some things up had to, had to reorder I've already went through a few nozzles uh, so in in the past few months I've actually 3d printed quite a bit of stuff uh, so let me walk you through what I've done uh, one of the biggest things that about a 3d printer that hangs people up is uh, the bed leveling so uh, in my experience, I put this thing together, the, the, uh, it came in a box, the, uh, there are YouTube videos that show you very detailed steps of how to put this together. Uh, the instructions were really good as well, but I did find a literal a guy putting this thing together. I uh, can't give him credit right now, I'll, I'll throw the description, I'll throw that link down in the description, sorry. Um, if, you, if you need that, you want to watch that, but he literally screw by screw, step by step, walked through how to put this thing together. So bed leveling was my first upgrade. I had issues, uh, I just couldn't keep it level. And the bed that comes with this is magnetic. Um, this, is, this is actually an aftermarket uh, magnetic cover. This just lifts off, it's very easy. Oops, it's something I'll talk about in a minute. But um, the original bed was black and you know, it's kind of dark in my room here and I'm part of, I can't see anyway. So as I'm trying to watch my print, uh, it's hard to see. So I found a yellow, uh, a yellow bed to give me the ability to when I'm printing things that are like gray or black, uh, which you see in the background, uh, it gives me the ability to see those base layers and, and know, you know, once it gets started, usually unless something goes wrong, once it gets started, you're good to go. But that first, uh, those first, you know, 10, 15 layers, is, you, you got to watch and make sure. Uh, and that's something from my experience, it's something to learn. Like don't walk away until you see that it's good and started. Uh, and then you can walk away and, and watch it. Um, so, but the, le the bed leveling, I actually uh, 3D printed uh, on the other 3D printer, some new wheels. Uh, the wheels that came with this were very small. Uh, just didn't like them. And these seem to have uh, a better grip to them. As well as, you probably can't see it, but there's a locking mechanism that keeps them from moving. It keeps them from um, doing light adjustments. So it helps it kind of lock in place. Another upgrade that I actually did for the Ender 3 is the auto bed leveler. Uh, it doesn't come with auto bed leveling. And honestly, if I had not had the other printer that I'll talk about in a different video, uh, the uh, um, uh, it's a Weedo, W-E-E-D-O, uh, Tina 2 is the other printer. It's actually up there <laughs> for now. But if I had not had that one, which had auto bed leveling on it, I really wouldn't have known. So I just kind of looked up like, can I add that? Can I upgrade it? Coolest thing about 3D printing is I can do that. I can build this thing as, as crazy as I want to, to do as whatever I want to, right? So I found the kit, uh, I downloaded it, very inexpensive, very easy to do. There was some quirky technical things that I had to figure out between firmware versus my, um, you know, internal board. You got to take some things apart. You got to rewire some things. And I say rewire, you have to actually route some wires. Not a big deal. It was a little bit uh, tedious to get it just right, like how I wanted to do it. Because uh, you see, I actually, uh, if you're doing this mod, uh, a lot of a lot of guys online, you'll see they just they just tie this wire to the rest of them. I took all this apart and I ran this wire into the factory harness uh, so that it would look clean and look factory. And that's why I have to really point it out 
for you to see, hey, there's an auto bed leveling sensor on here. So I did that. So bed leveling has been a lot better since. That, that really changed the game. Um, all the tools that, that, uh, that you use with these 3D printers, um, such as the cutters and screwdrivers and Allen wrenches and things like that. And some of these tools are actually for the other 3D printers as well. But you're able to go on uh, you know, thing like Thingiverse and you find other people who have like printed these things out and they've made tool holders. And this tool holder just clamps on and it holds all my stuff. So that was another upgrade. Um, what else did I do? I think that's really it. Um, I, I ran into a problem, and excuse, excuse the mess. Um, I ran into a problem with my spool being on top, which that works okay for the most part. Uh, so I bought these to set it on the side and this is just a, a ball bearing roller. They were very inexpensive on Amazon. So I think if I remember right, I believe the Amazon seller has, and I'll put a link down in the description. The Amazon seller has this uh, Ender 3 Pro. It runs about $200 ish. Um, and then, you know, you got things like though the ball bearing rollers, uh, you know, I think honestly, I think it was like seven dollars. Those were very cheap, inexpensive. Um, and the rest of this I 3D printed. So, like, once you get it and get it set up, uh, some of these upgrades, um, you can 3D print yourself. Like, I 3D printed those and just bought the nut from a hardware store. And you, if you're getting into 3D printing, that'll be just a normal thing to you. It's like you build a lot of things, you 3D print the majority of it, but if it's got threaded parts, uh, that have to be machine threads or metal threads that you'll go to the hardware store and the 3d printed part will have those part you know you snap in the nuts and whatnot and i'll show you in just a minute some things that i've 3d printed to give you an example of just how powerful this is and like it's like the sky's the limit on what you can do with it um but like i said i had a problem with the spool i this the spool holder I'm going to do something else here and I actually did uh, my other 3D printer. I had to do a similar upgrade because I didn't like um, the factory uh, offering there. So I did an upgrade on it as well and I've actually used this on the other 3D printer also. Uh, so what else can I say? So it's super easy to, um, to use. It's not connected to your computer. Uh, it actually runs off of a micro SD card. So if you're looking to get into this, this is what I'll tell you. It's a little bit quirky. It requires some software over on the computer. You do some work on the computer, you, you finish it, you make the sliced file, it's called a slicer. You, 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 you run the CAD software into the slicer and the slicer slices it per your settings. It's a little quirky. It is not something for the faint at heart. If you are not techy in some way, if you're not easily, if you're not able to easily figure things out, I would say stay away from 3D printing if of doing it yourself at least. Um, maybe get into the CAD part, and learn that, but but stay away from this part because this part right here, uh, it can break your heart. Like you can waste so much time, and it take it's so time consuming. Uh, I actually did a print uh, testing on this, and I'll show you some of them. And I've I've made things, I've failed things, I've broken things, uh, but you know I've also made some really cool stuff uh, that is super useful. Um, but yeah, not for the faint at heart. So now, let me show you. So it's really easy. Uh, like I said, you, you have these SD cards. You just, you, you slice the file, you put it on the SD card, you put the SD card in here. Now there are upgrades to where you can send it to here. The other 3D printer, I am actually able to wirelessly send that over. Uh, but this one, not so much at the moment. Uh, but 3D printer, uh, the, the SD card is, is put in. And then you do something like this and you say print from media and you can see I've got files on here and if you, depending on if you know what you're looking at, <laughs> but there's a lot of stuff here that is uh, PP related uh, and that's, that's kind of what I figured out right off the bat. I was like, that's what I want to use this for. Uh, so it's been a cool, cool thing. I've printed things that took like three days total, you know, to print two days. I printed quite a few long-term things. This is a very reliable machine. The Ender 3 Pro, uh, I would highly recommend. So, but we'll talk about that in a second. So let's look at just a few items that I've 3D printed. All right, so first off, 
pew pew related. <laughs> we'll just do that. So this is this is a little a, a project toy. Um, this this is not a real anything, right? I'm not I'm not yeah. Just no. It's not real. It's literally a toy, but it is a fun little toy. It's a fun toy that I created from scratch. I 3D printed everything on this except for the machine screws that hold it together. Um, I I got to redo some parts of it. This is my own iteration of it. If you know where this come from, uh, pretty cool. Uh, printed 3D printed things like this that are um, you know mag holders to literally just organize your stuff. Um, there's some more over here. Here's the uh, the big mag holders. Things of that nature. I mean, and and it's it's not that hard to do. 3D printed this this item. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here's a quick off the shelf. I haven't um, haven't finished this yet. This is a uh, under the desk. You mount it under the desk to hold uh, hold your headphones uh, for mixing for music, right? That's what that's for. I just, I made all kind of things. I went a little nuts at first. Um, and let me show you this. So yeah, so my very cool project is uh, I made sunglasses. And I did actually do these on the Ender 3. I made a pair of sunglasses. And though they may look ugly and goofy, I was very... Uh, proud of them I am a I am a Costa connoisseur <laughs> I like sunglasses let me show you this this is kind of goofy but ah there we go I had made them where they fit right but it just shows you the power I, I had an old pair of like cheapo sunglasses I popped the lens out and I printed these frames I found them on a site yeah so that's that's the power of um, 3D printing. Now let me run out and show you one more thing. So here we are in the the mad science room. So one of the first things I did when I got the 3D printer is I just began to make all sorts of adapters. And you see here, I've got my battery adapters. And these are where, well, let me show you because we're just sitting here at the moment. Um, in the middle of some projects, but my batteries mount on the wall here, especially the charger ones. And that's the charger, and those are just the holding station. I've got drill holders. I've got my um, <laughs> my jigsaw holder, and I'm using a drill holder for that. I made a I made a mount to hold my stud finder and my pencil together. Um, I got a little spot for my tape, my measuring tape. What else? Um, I'm sure there's more out here. Oh yeah, this was a, this was cool. Um, pew pew related uh, for my little 22 build. Um, all sorts of parts. This is a um, vice block that I printed, 3D printed for, uh, you know, working on pew pews. And let's see. Let me hang my battery back up here. And also, it's hard to tell. Let me see if I can extend the camera. Sorry, it's probably shaky. So I I reorganized this wall by making things like this to hang to hang my tools on so I literally same thing over there so so in conclusion what do I think about the Ender 3 Pro it's an awesome machine it's been great to me uh, I do have some upgrades in mind to do uh, later on uh, one of those would be like a glass bed, things like that. Uh, this this th 3D printer has a heated bed. The other small one does not. So that's kind of the advantage of this one over that one. There's a lot of things to look for if you're looking into 3D printing that I've learned at a very fast pace. If you, any of you guys who actually know me personally, you know that I just dive headfirst into things. 
and I just learn all I can. What I've learned is um, heated bed is for adhesion, helps you, helps things stick to the bed while you're printing. And I've had a few print fails simply because they let go of the bed while they were printing, it started to warp up and literally I just had to crash the print, and throw it in the trash and be done with it. Um, but it's definitely, uh, if, if you're out and it's in your budget, I, I say get one. I think 3D printing is like next level hobby uh, because it's not necessarily a hobby in itself to me. It's actually an enabler for the other hobby. So uh, like I showed you, I have some, I didn't show you all of it. I actually have some really cool stuff that I printed for the kayak um, that will be probably coming up in future videos and I'll show those things. I'll show those mods to the kayak. I've got a lot of ideas turning in my head. I just don't have a lot of time to do them at the moment, but it's good to know that I've got the ability, when I do have time, I've got the ability um, to, uh, you know, I can sit down in my, what free time I do have, work the, work the CAD software out and work, you know, build things in CAD and then, uh, you know, determine how, you know, how I should print it and what I should print it out of. And then when I get time, it's just a matter of slicing it and throwing it in the machine and hitting and go. Uh, and I know that I've got a reliable machine here that can do, you know, it, as long as I set it up right, right? As long as I level the bed, as long as I do the work, I've got a machine here that can do it. So do I recommend the Ender 3 Pro? Absolutely. Do I think the price point is fair? I think it's a great steal. I think it's a deal for, you know, what you're getting. I've prayed a lot, uh, I pay it up. I have paid a lot more for a lot less capabilities and abilities, uh, you know, to to just build things. You can build whatever your <laughs> your little heart desires. If you can think it and you can build it in CAD, you can build it here. Or if you don't, there's a lot of videos. There's a lot of people out there that'll build you something in CAD uh, and send it to you and let you print it. Or you there's people out there that'll do it all for you. It's up to you. It's up to you and how you want to do it. So. Five stars is what I give the Ender 3 Pro. Um, would I purchase with my own money? Absolutely. Um, and I do have a lot of upgrades uh, to do in the future. And I know some of you say about the upgrades, you're like, well, if it's such a great product, why are you doing upgrades? For the price point, I think it's amazing. Uh, if you start looking at the 3D printers that don't need these upgrades, they already have all these capabilities, the prices start rising exponentially. So it gets really high. It's like anything else. I think the Ender 3, not the Pro, the Ender 3 is a good base level model. Uh, it gives you a good foundation for 3D printing uh, and you can learn on it. Um, and I am uh, thankful for uh, the seller reaching out. And like I said, I highly recommend, and I don't say that just because they sent me the product. I say that because I've built some of this stuff and I'm telling you, I am all for this thing. And uh, kind of want a bigger version i want this i'm actually looking at how to expand the size of it or even buy another you know buy another uh next level 3d printer just to make this whole process easier so definitely recommend so check it out links will be down in the description thanks